the next question that comes to my mind after this uh, this question that I asked you before was, uh, can you fill up our audience with the tenth of tar and the knowledge of tenth of tar that is due to come in due of time? Ninth of tar was our Lord Krishna. Now tenth of tar and how and why will it appear? Let of tars come and go. We should be blessed if they come. Uh, Buddha came, they were blessed. Krishna came, and they were people of great. But the one particular um, uh, advantage of these avatars that you talked about is let's seek inspiration from their life. Let's treat them not as gods or demigods. Let's, you know, I, one of the beautiful statements that I often quote is that, and said by some people, that you must humanize our relationship with God. Like we treat human, we, we and divinize our relationship with human beings. Well, sir, you know, I mean, let's treat people as like you is as divine. God. Yeah, but be be in human touch with what we are doing. We keeping our gods into inside the temple, far away, removed. We can't even go and touch in sanctum, sanctorum. You know, let's get close to him. And another thing which we often we, we which something which we I must mention. That we shouldn't be talking about fear of God. That is absolutely. We should talk about love of God. God is not a demon. Is he? He is not a rakshas. We should be scared of. We should be scared of him only if he is doing something wrong. And that, in any case, we. Uh, but the love of God is something which is more important. That is what we need to. And that that would come when we follow the principles, the lives, and messages that. How they lived this life, how when they came, what are the purpose, and did they execute it? Love and affection, like for example, Ram, Maria da Prashottam. What all did he do? So, if we learn from their experience as human beings, and not say that they are gods, we can't do it. You know, brush it. Then uh, that's the biggest lesson we can get from these avatars. I respect you for that answer because I had a question based on the future, which is uncertain, right? And you answered really well. I must say that. Sir.